I'm Chris Fox, and this is The Bourbonite. So does your whiskey or bourbon expire? Some would argue yes, some would argue no. It's really kind of a uh, question of taste, I guess you could call it. But there's an industry standard that says that once you open a bottle of whiskey, it's good for about six to eight months. Now, I don't know how much of a standard that actually is. It actually took a lot of searching for me to find that. Basically what it comes down to is spirits, so liquor in general, uh, when it's in the bottle, has a shelf life of forever, essentially. Uh, the stuff, at least as far as we know it, isn't going to go bad. Um, when it's in a bottle, it no longer ages, it no longer uh, changes flavors and things like that. It's, it's in the bottle, and as long as the bottle's sealed, you're good to go. But once you open it, you're exposing it to a number of things, including liquor's most uh, formidable enemy, oxygen. Now you may remember in a uh, previous video I talked about gassing your whiskey and, and uh, preserving the flavor at a certain point, things like that. That's exactly what an expiration date of six to eight months really signifies. Once you open it and it's been open for about eight months, it's going to start to go, I guess you could call it flat. Again, some people will swear by this, some people will say it's a uh, crock of shit. You really have to take this uh, with your own interpretation. Um, if you have a bottle that you like and it's not terribly expensive, open it up, take a couple drams and uh, let it sit for a while, a year, maybe two, and see if it's changed in flavor, if you can even remember it. And that's probably the real key to this whole thing. If you still like it, who cares how long it's been in the bottle? Who cares how long the bottle's been open? And if you don't gas it or you do gas it, the real key is whether or not you like it. Part of the reason you gas it is to uh, prevent oxidation, because similar to like wine, once oxygen starts hitting the, uh, the bourbon, you, it'll, it'll definitely start to change the flavor. If you like how something tastes, as soon as you open it, I would start gassing it right away. If um, you want to let it age a little bit, or not even age, but just expose itself to the oxygen a little bit, you can see some different flavors that'll come out. When it gets to a point that you like it, then start gassing it. That'll kind of preserve the flavor that you have. But it'll never go bad. This stuff will never be unsafe to drink, pending some unforeseen nuclear apocalypse or something of the like. But it'll always be good to drink. It just won't taste the same. It's not like uh, cheese. It's not going to go bad or grow mold as long as the bottle is sealed up. So the real key to making your whiskey, I guess, last as long as possible, I preserve its flavor as long as possible, is keeping it in a fairly cool, fairly dry place and gassing it. Those are the real key elements. The other part is light. For some reason, light definitely has an effect on this stuff. And if it sits in the bright sunlight for a long period of time, you're going to change the flavor. So dark, cool, dry, and add some of that inert gas. You should be good to go. If you're not that picky or you're really good at uh, taking care of your whiskey quickly, I won't even worry about it. Six to eight months and it won't change. So that's it. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up because there's plenty more bourbon knowledge and a little bit of everything else to come. I mean, pending some unforeseen nuclear apocalypse or something. Shit. That delightful substance. <laughs> yeah, let me phrase that again too. People gas it uh, to get rid of that oxygen. Nope, that's not why either. I'm talking on my ass, Kaylee. You don't even know what you're talking about anymore, do you? No, I'm good at pretending though. <laughs>